Hey everyone, thank you so much for tuning in to the Yardbird Suite virtual series. We're very lucky that the Yardbird Suite has been so great uh, during this crazy time, during the pandemic, to still uh, bring music and support local musicians especially, uh, and still give the audience something to listen to. So, uh, My name is Brett Hansen. Um, I really appreciate you tuning in. Um, I would first like to acknowledge that uh, I am here in Edmonton playing on Treaty 6 territory, um, where music has been made for... Uh, many, 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 many years before I've been here, and um, we're very lucky and privileged to be uh, creating music here still. So um, that first tune um, was a tune of mine, a brand new one that has been written kind of during this uh, pandemic time. Um, it does not have a title yet, so I can see some comments coming up. If you have any suggestions for song titles, you can just drop them in there, and I can scroll through it later, or I'll maybe see it while we're playing. Um, or you can just get in touch with me uh, outside of this. Um, yes, that was a tune of mine. I'm going to continue on here with a, uh, a pretty old American folk tune um, by a wonderful uh, guitar player, singer, songwriter um, named Elizabeth Cotton. Um, so not only did she write really cool songs and uh, kind of like paved the way for a lot of writers at the time, um, she was a very, very cool guitar player. Uh, so she played, she was left-handed, and uh, what she would do is she'd flip the right-handed guitar upside down, and I know people watching are probably thinking, oh, well, Jimi Hendrix did that, and, and uh, Kurt Cobain did stuff like that, because they, you know, they would flip it upside down and restring the guitar. Um, she was so cool that she didn't restring the guitar, and she basically played the guitar completely upside down, and she mostly did uh, like a two-finger picking thing, uh, using her thumb and her index finger, but she would opposite what you know guitar players do mostly nowadays she would play the bass lines with her index finger and then all these cool melodies with her with her thumb and uh, if you play a stringed instrument you should try it because it's I have no idea how someone could do that um, anyway we're gonna do uh, one of or I'm gonna do one of his or one of her uh, really famous uh, pieces um, guitar players uh, for a very long time, basically a hundred years, have been playing this tune. Um, it kind of had a resurgence in the 50s and 60s by like British skiffle bands, but uh, I'm going to give you my rendition of Freight Train.
that was Elizabeth Cotton's Freight Train um, with a you know a bunch of different little turns in there. Um, during this pandemic time, I, I've you know had like many artists and many players had a kind of ups and downs in terms of motivation to do some work, you know, get the practicing in um, because you know where are all the gigs? Um, but it's still uh, you know it's still so much fun to play and it's so much fun to play for you guys. So um, especially at the beginning of the um, pandemic. Um, I was putting in a lot of time, but I was trying to work on some stuff that I really hadn't spent a lot of time on. So, you know, I was working on some Bach etudes and some uh, two-part inventions and trying to work on, you know, things like counterpoint a little bit more. Um, some stuff that I really wanted to work on, but, you know, takes a lot of time. Um, and as I was telling Curtis here, our sound person, um, I'm probably not going to come to the Yardbird Suite and play some Bach inventions. So... Um, in doing a little bit of research and, and stuff, I realized that um, there's this really wonderful Canadian guitar player um, who's now based in the US named Alex Goodman, who, um, who has spent a lot of time kind of working on those sort of ideas and a few years ago released an etude album. Um, and uh, he, was, he was so great, uh, you know, uh, trying to get this music out and let, you know, uh, people play it and that he was donating all of the proceeds on certain days to, to charities um, to support things like Black Lives Matter. Um, so I, of course, jumped right on that and um, wanted to work on some of these etudes. So I'm going to play a couple for you. These are uh, just short little one minute or so, or two minutes uh, etudes. I'm going to play two of them in a row, and the first one is called In Heaven, Everything is Fine.
Uh, thank you so much. So uh, we edited a couple of etudes by the great Alex Goodman, um, and then that was kind of a, a very different place. That's a song called The Place Where Lost Things Go. Um, that was actually written for the, uh, the Mary Poppins Return movie. Uh, I think that was 2018. So I really loved that song. It has so much emotion, um, such a mood. Um, and it's very fun to play, kind of in the Bill Frizzell sort of style. So, um, yes, that was called The Place Where Lost Things Go. Um, I'm going to take another turn here, and I'm going to do uh, a standard, a really beautiful Duke Ellington tune um, called Prelude to a Kiss. Hope you enjoy. Thanks so much. Thank mm-hmm. you. 
Thanks for sticking around so far. Um, that was a, a pretty old tune of mine um, entitled Jane's Song, and I kind of did a sort of a, an intro there with um, another American folk tune called Wildwood Flower. Um, I have a couple of tunes left for you guys. I'm going to tell you a story about the next one. This one's an original. Um, so a few years ago, uh, this movie came out that got, you know, great critic, it was critically acclaimed, um, called Isle of Dogs. And probably a lot of people have watched it. And, uh, if you've heard the story, you can still laugh. It's okay. Um, so every single time I heard, uh, somebody say Isle of Dogs, I made this really cheesy dad joke, uh, and I would say, I love dogs too, because I'll sounds like, or I'll of sounds like I love. So I love dogs too. Um, anyway, uh, so I did that for a long time and it probably annoyed the heck out of everyone. Um, but uh, something came out of it. Um, I had this tune written. I didn't have a name for it because I'm very, very, very bad uh, at naming tunes. Um, but uh, I decided to call this tune, I love you. So hope you're you're picking up on that um the funny thing is though i still have not seen the movie isle of dogs so uh one day i will but i think that i can't really tell this story as much if i have seen the movie so um this is isle of you thanks so much
Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you for sticking around. Um, my name is Brett Hansen. Um, I have a few thank yous to do before I do one final piece. Um, kill the volume here. Um, I'd like to thank the Yardbird Suite um, for continuing to support artists in this time uh, of need for us. Um, and, you know, everyone needs some uh, entertainment in their lives, too. So this is great for anybody tuning in. I've been tuning in and watching some of my friends, and uh, it's been so much fun. Um, so thank you uh, to Stephanie Urquhart for programming this half of the series um, and for booking me and thinking of me for this. Um, I really appreciate it. Um, we have Curtis on sound. So uh, if you want to throw some claps into the comment section, that's for him. Uh, it's, it sounds great in here. I hope it sounds great out there. I'm sure it does. Um, uh, I would also like to say that the Yardbird Suite uh, is always looking for uh, some donations. Uh, we have a roof fix that needs to happen, and it costs a lot of money. So if you have the means, I know that this is kind of a crazy time, please uh, try to support the Yardbird Suite if you can um, by donating. I think you can do it on their website. So um, please do that. Um, please stay safe, take care of yourselves, and take care of, uh, take care of the ones you love, um, and be nice. Um, I'm going to do one more tune for you, um, just to cap off the eclectic mix of compositions here. Uh, this, this, not this song, but the album this song comes from, won the uh, Grammy this year for Album of the Year, and I really love it. Um, this is called, uh, this is a Billie Eilish tune called When the Party's Over. Um, thank you so much for sticking around. Have a good one.